Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. Hopefully you'll see an improvement in this video from my previous videos as I've ditched my old Logitech web camera and bought a new Hewlett Packard web camera. Went through several hundred more of my magazines today and these are some of the ones that stuck out. In my mind anyway. This is a digital audio reel-to-reel -reel recorder. In case you're curious, list price, depending on features that you ordered, $25,000. Rich for me. I kind of noticed that there are a lot of uh, gaming magazines with this type of cover and you know, where they pit one console against another. I remember this. Um, didn't really apply to me as I had pre ordered my Dreamcast at Electronics Boutique. I didn't stand in line to pick it up. I waited till the second day to pick mine up because I didn't want to have to deal with the lines. And my first one wouldn't read any of the discs that I bought. So I took it back to Electronics Boutique and they replaced it, no questions asked. Sega was much better at dealing with that than Sony was when they released the original PlayStation. It had a problem with overheating and Sony's uh, recommendation, turn it off and give it a rest. Not very helpful. As I may have alluded to in my last video, I probably have just as many magazines uh, related to movies and retro television as I do video gaming. Film facts. And as I mentioned in my previous video, they had tried a magazine called Otour, which I really liked, but unfortunately it didn't sell as well. So they wound up incorporating Otour into Film Facts, and at that time they changed the name to Film Facts to uh, various times Film Facts Plus and also Ultra Film Facts. They did double the uh, size of the magazine when they did that. This particular issue of Draculina includes an interview with Vampira. It's actually page three of the interview. We went by um, Dave and Buster's today, did a lot of gaming there. Notice that they had gotten in a lot of new machines, a lot of Sega machines. Unfortunately, they got rid of one of my favorite Sega games called Airline Pilots. Had three monitors, and it tended to mess up my vertigo, but I still enjoyed playing it. Redeemed a number of my points. I don't think I've ever shown my collection of lunchboxes and pseudo lunchboxes. At one point I had made a list of everything I collect and that list was over 50 when I stopped. Also collect diecast. This is for Motormax and is a 1949 Ford Woody. This is also for Motormax. This is a Ford Pinto, a 1974 Ford Pinto. room.
These are also from Motor Racks, and unfortunately they don't indicate anywhere on the box what it is a model of. So I guess you have to know your cars. Or cut or trucks as the case may be. Also went by Walmart and picked up a number of DVDs. I'm way behind showing my DVD pickups, but I'll go ahead and show these. This was in the five dollar bin. Hollywood Halloween, 25 years of terror. This was produced by Paramount Pictures, but released on DVD by Anchor Bay. Two DVD set. Disc one includes. A full frame feature presentation of the documentary, Horrors Hollowed Grounds, an exclusive tour of the Halloween series filming locations, Halloween 2 and 3 extended interviews, extended celebrity interviews, Halloween 5 on set footage, Halloween convention montage, fans of Halloween, collections of props and memorabilia. Then on disc 2, Halloween panel discussion, Halloween 2 panel discussion, Halloween 6 panel discussion, Billy Grinnell panel discussion, Michael Myers panel discussion, Dean uh, Kunde panel discussion, Halloween producers panel discussion, Halloween location stills gallery, Halloween convention behind the scenes, ga uh, scenes gallery, and original artwork gallery. And then in small print all the way at the bottom, it says some machines may not have the ability to play all the features, which would be a bummer, but it was $5 and I don't anticipate a problem. Also have a large collection of cartoon shorts on DVDs and laser discs. This includes 26 Looney Tunes and Mary Melody shorts. This is another two disc set. In addition to the 20 shorts, disc two also includes a rare appearances of Bugs Bunny, including TV showings, TV specials, and shorts never before on DVD. That's cool. Okay. Until next time, stay awesome.